We have a series of cyclones in our part of the world. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. We're tracking three storms at the moment. One of them is falling apart over Western Australia. It was Cyclone Damien over the weekend. We've got a new one that's formed near Vanuatu, Uisi, and we've got a third one forming by the end of this week or weekend up around um, to the northeast of Fiji. So let's try and get into it. We are in the peak of the cyclone season, so this is normal sort of weather. So there is the storm that has just formed. It's category one and it is tracking directly towards uh, New Caledonia and it's likely to get up to category two, maybe even severe category three as it moves into that French nation. So it's going to move around and then into the Tasman Sea from the Coral Sea to the Tasman Sea and this big blocking high down around the South Tasman and stretching out across New Zealand with the anti-cyclonic wind, it encourages this easterly. So as the storm tracks south, it'll be guided in towards Australia around the outer edges of that high. They don't like highs, so they go for the path of least resistance. So that means in this area here, which is already funneling a lot of rain into the eastern side of Australia, even more rain is coming in. And the third area to focus on is up here in the uh, tropics north of Fiji, where the other storm is likely to form at the end of the week. And the last thing that is the remnants now of what was Cyclone Damien that came into Western Australia over the weekend. So a busy time. Uh, if you want to track the very latest on OEC, and I hope I'm saying it properly, it's a, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, this one is this story here has all the mapping for it. We've got nine maps in there that cover you know, uh, where it's likely to go over the next few days, the current strength, that sort of information. Also how it might affect New Zealand and Australia. So uh, check out that story on the homepage of WeatherWatch and also in our free app. So let's move on and have a look at the forecast. So here we are for Tuesday. There is the cyclone category two. By then, likely to getting up to nearly three as it moves into New Caledonia. Numea right over here on the eastern side, which is further away, but could still be walloped by that storm. So one to watch. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, more rain falling around Australia. That is great news for them. Pouring with rain and even more rain will be coming this week as that system tracks down. But around our part of the world, very dry. In fact, you might have noticed with the high in the Tasman and the southerly flow moving in, it's been a bit cooler. The nights in particular are below average at the moment in a number of areas and will be like that for another couple more nights as that high rolls in. There's also a flip side and that means northern facing areas, Bay of Plenty, Nelson for example, will be pretty hot and sunny into the afternoons. On Wednesday, no change for New Zealand. High pressure means dry weather for our part of the world. The storm now potentially at its largest as it tracks near New Caledonia on Wednesday. More rain along the western side of uh, Australia, sorry, eastern side, eastern side of Australia. Now we move to Thursday, not a lot of change. The storms moved a little bit closer to Aussie. Look at all that rain falling. It is very good news for them. I know it's painful to hear it for us, for those areas that do need rain in New Zealand. But the reason why we're talking about this so much is because, well, we caught the dry they've got over there. So it stands to reason at some point we'll get their rain as well. It may not be this month, but we are seeing a change in the pattern, which you see here again on Thursday with all that rain falling over there and all the low pressure up here to the north. There is a little burst of showers on Thursday, a little southerly change that could drive in a few more showers into Southland, Otago on the west coast. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think many of you are asking for more. So um, it's falling in the wrong places in New Zealand still. And by Friday, a couple of showers move up into the eastern side of the North Island. High pressures in charge. But you can see now uh, the storm, it may still be a cyclone. It might be coming out of one as it moves into that eastern side. So from Brisbane to Sydney, more rain coming this week and even more at the end of the week as a result of that storm. Finally, up in the tropics, on Friday, there's the next one that is forming just north, there's Fiji, it's forming just north of Fiji at the end of this week. And our final map for Saturday shows two different storms here. So that's the X cyclone that's currently north of New Zealand, sliding very close to Sydney. Now it might push wind and gales uh, up to gale force there and some rain, or it might just be a little bit offshore and bring very little to Sydney. So Sydney's in the same place that New Zealand often is in that sort of 50-50 borderline setup. Cyclones don't often make it to Sydney. They usually curve around and come into New Zealand. So this is a little bit different, but with the high in charge, it is guiding it sort of away from us. And as our high moves away like that to the east, that then allows that rainmaker possibly to come in to the South Island as just a rainmaker. Further to the north, 
There's the next cyclone that may well be around as early as this Friday or Saturday. And this one could get bigger because it's sort of in a warmer area, may well affect Samoa and Tonga. I think Tonga in, in particular. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Very busy week coming up, but not for New Zealand. So if you do need rain, you've got to look for that silver lining, which is there is rain all around us. So while it's not here yet, and it's not likely in the next week, Maybe at the very end of February or going into March, we might finally get that change. It's just a silver lining, but um, it's rather better to say that than just be focusing on all the negatives. So it's certainly a dry week for those who need rain in New Zealand. That is all from me. Don't forget weatherwatch.co.nz for more information.